you may not have heard of, but you should have done. His name is Glyn Christian, and the book that I'm talking about has a very interesting title, How to Cook Without Recipes. Now, before I get onto the book, I want to tell you something about the man. Glyn Christian is a very famous TV presenter, and he lived in Australia for a long time. When he was in London, in Notting Hill, he ran the most successful deli called Mr. Christian's for many, many years, and he is a fantastic cook. But what he wants to do is to tell people not to get hung up on following recipes slavishly. And for this, he's written the book. I'm gonna read you a little bit about what he says. He says, this will release your cooking from its recipe shackles and you'll learn to enjoy real freedom in the kitchen. The answers lie in understanding what happens, how the mouth works to stimulate taste, learning how different ways of cooking ingredients creates intense flavors. It explains how to discern taste and flavor and to recognize ingredients that share affinities or complement each other, linking together in what he calls flavour trails. By using these skills, he says something surprising, you'll be able to understand the recipes of celebrity chefs and see where they go wrong. You'll be able to cook independently and instinctively and even create recipes of your own. That sounds very good. What he's actually saying is that the the process of cookery is based on art and science. Whereas the science doesn't change, the art does, making everybody's dish individual to them. But even the tiniest leap of imagination in cookery will not work unless it's built on a firm scientific principle, an understanding of why something is happening in the kitchen. Now, these scientific principles used to be learned, albeit absorbed unconsciously, by watching mothers and other cooks in the family kitchen. Of course, in his time, a long time ago, this was nearly always women. There were not so many men in a domestic kitchen. And it was done by cooking a favourite dish again and again. An encouraging thing that Glynn tells us is this. You learn to cook by cooking the same thing a hundred times, not by cooking a hundred things once. Now, I'd add something here in case that sounds a bit daunting. He's talking about practice, and we all know that the more you practice something, the better you get at it. The famous writer, Malcolm Gladwell, took it even further, and he has the very famous theory that it needs 10,000 hours of practice for somebody to become an expert. He wrote a book on this and it actually is seen to work, whether it's true of Mozart, who spent hours and hours and hours and hours, even while he was composing at a very young age. It was true of the Beatles, who went to Hamburg before they were ever famous and practiced all night because they had to do all night gigs until they'd done their 10,000 hours. And when they came back to Liverpool, they were already experts. And Bill Gates and many others who have perfected what they do by practice. Now, I don't want you to be daunted by the idea that you have to put in 10,000 hours. What is really true is don't try to perfect, as um, Glenn Christian says, a hundred different recipes. Find a few that you like and practice and get better and better at them. He ends by saying, if you've ever eaten anything you liked, you can cook. In fact, you can cook without recipes. I am going to say that it is not entirely true that you never need a recipe, because in my view, you need recipes for cakes and many sweet things. And that goes back to the science again. You need the chemistry, you need the balance of the flour, sugar, fat, butter, everything that you put into it. And if you overweigh it with a wrong one, you'll get a lump and cake. So there are many things where you actually do need to follow a recipe. But I strongly recommend 
that you get yourself a copy of Lynn Christian's How to Cook Without Recipes because it will make your time in the kitchen so much more fun. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, uh, you can find my website, which is called The Armchair Kitchen. And please, if you like this, share it with somebody else. And do go on to my uh, YouTube selection where you'll see lots and lots of others. And I hope you like them. Thank you for watching this. Bye bye.